or column swivels. That's the generalization that I'm going to use as the best kind because it describes people that like moral technique, Noam Chomsky, the Venus Project, uh, conspiracy theories, and the Occupy movement. The whole nine yards. I'm calling them the swivels. If you don't know what that is, check out stuff white people like dot com. There you go. Now you know what a swivel is. And it's not necessarily white people. I know a lot of mestizos that also share the same interests. But I'm calling them swivels. And they all share the same problem. They all hate the media, government, and corporations. And the banks too. All four of these things. And they call for and advocate for a democracy and gradually democratizing their system of government. However, they fail to realize that many of the problems corporations have are also problems shared with democracies. And me, I'm not one of those guys that despises democracies. I'm totally indifferent to political structures at the moment. I'm only a social guy at the moment. And I can still acknowledge the faults of democracies, which you should too. For starters, the fact that both the CEO and the president are motivated mostly by mammon. They're tied to political economy in terms of what kind of positions they'll take. They don't pursue any higher ideal. And when it comes to the political level of nobility, there's the peasants, there's the merchant class, there's the warrior class, and there's the religious class. If you're stuck on the merchant class, you're not going to be that high as a civilization. Your hierarchy is set up in a really shallow way. It's half of what it should be. And you see that now. This obsession with political economy and the gradual degradation of our culture and the fact that we're no longer communitarian. Isn't that one of the big deals of the Zeitgeist movement? The Venus Project? The fact that we're all devoid of any value so we're just focused on money and anti-social things well you get that as a democracy too you get a lot of these things secrecy you know people have a problem with secrecy but first off Has it ever occurred to you that a lot of these corrupt higher-ups are corrupt and they do engage in a lot of secretive behavior because we have so much things in the public now? They're basically forced into a position where only crooked people are going to make it on top. After all, not even the higher-ups can enjoy privacy. And the fact that governments and government structures are essentially public, just like corporations and shares and these public buildings operate that way, they have less rights. Just like we have less rights, they have less rights too. It's a twofold issue. You can't take away rights without losing some of yourself. Now there are exceptions, yet such is the nature of property. All property is private property. 
all you can really do is reduce how much people can have it. Or who can have it and who can't. And this is an issue of democracy. The fact that just like what happened with the Mozilla CEO, your opinions or what you advocate for can cost you having your bread. It can end your career. It can really lead to heavy thought policing. That's what we're dealing with now. This is shared with corporations and with democracies, i.e. political scandals. And really, if you're going to critique the corporation, but then call for a democracy, you're calling for something a lot worse. Because at least with the corporation, your shares do count. It's not just an a la carte thing. And even if you don't have the majority shares, you can still have enough to make an impact. And the same can't be said for a democracy. Anyways, this is Mr. Maka 7. I'm not a fan of this video and it hasn't even been uploaded yet. So, y'all can go to hell. And I can go to hell. You know, I should suck my own dick right now. It's my fault.